You know, a cat that had gone missing is finally back home. And this isn't just any cat, though. Oh, no, he is quite, quite, he has quite the title there. Yes, our very own pet whisperer. That's what we're going to call her. <laughs> Ashley Williams is live in Rancho Cordova with this super sweet story. Hey, Ash. Thomas. Hold on. You call me, you call me the pet whisperer? Yes, I'm trying girl. to find Thomas the kitty now. Thomas, no, not not so much, not quite happening. But yes, guys, in Rancho Cordova at the Home Depot location here in town. Now, this is really truly a great story. It's really about a story called well, about the kitty, of course. Home Depot kitty. They like to go. They like to call him Thomas, but also Happy Tails. Now, you guys, we all know of people adopting pets. Well, this is a little bit different. They, the Thomas the kitty adopted. Home Depot about 16 yes. years ago. So we're going to give you the whole story, but really quick, this is Dale. Good Hi. morning, Dale. Hi, how are you? Good, good, good. Okay, so first, let's talk about the origin of this story. 16 years ago, Thomas the Kitty came into your lives, not just yours, but of course the customer. Yeah, of course. He came and joined this team here about 16 years ago. Um, little guy just decided this is where he wanted to hang out every day. Uh, he realized there was a bunch of people who would give him treats, a oh. bunch of people who would <laughs> give him pets, and he just made himself a little home here at the service desk so and cute. hangs out with our customers every yeah, day. And, really, and we got the story actually from a customer who said, hey guys, you, you, got, you got to know a little bit more about this. So about a week and a half ago, Thomas went missing. How did you guys find out that he wasn't here? Uh, so every day when we come into work, Thomas will generally just hang out right by the door here. Uh, he greets us as we walk in. He says hi to the customers. He waits for his treats. Um, before he makes his way into the greenhouse. So we opened the store about a week and a half ago and no Thomas hanging out. So did a little looking around, looked under the Christmas trees, couldn't find him anywhere. Uh, the next day came, still no Thomas. We had a couple of customers asking about it. So at that point we realized something had, maybe he was missing on an adventure. Yeah, so what ended up happening after that, guys? Of course, they put out flyers and the entire community rallied together. We're talking Facebook, we're talking Facebook, physical Twitter, posters. Oh. We had newspapers we have a couple of newspaper delivery people who took flyers and handed them out on their rounds all over facebook all over twitter we had posters on the store all the neighboring businesses were really helpful because they helped us spread the word let everybody know and our customers i mean he's been a part of people's lives for about 16 years now so a lot of our wow. customers were just reaching out to members uh -huh. of the community to try and help us bring him home yes and he came home that is the happy ending to the story so who who found thomas where was he uh so we got a call from happy tail sanctuary uh like three or four days ago and they let us know that a, a community member had dropped him off at the, uh, the sanctuary and let us know that they found him oh, and wow. that he was doing good and that he was ready to come home. So. And he is home, guys. So you're probably even watching video here and there. We got a chance earlier this morning to come out. It was a little dark and Thomas was just kind of hanging out in the cars. I'm assuming that's just what he likes to do. He just yeah. Kind of trips around. Every morning he just kind of sees who's coming in, see who's working that day, makes his rounds. He knows who to hit up for treats. Oh, so no. he spots his people and then always do. right around your feet you waiting got for treats, his Ashley? Not no, what kind of treats? I don't have have treats, but I wish. What kind of treats does he like? Oh, he, he'll eat anything. The guy just, he <laughs> loves, we have a bunch of the little nibbly things behind the desk yeah. and people bring in, a lot of our customers bring in stuff for him, which is great. Like I said, he's he's just so well known around here and he's just become such a staple of our daily oh, routine. So. I mean, this is really, truly such a great story. Now, I could say, guys, if I if he enjoyed coffee, I could probably pour <laughs> a little coffee into his water bowl and maybe he would kind of come up. But I wish he was around, but we saw the video there. But if you want to meet Thomas the Kitty, we are here at the Rancho uh, Cordova a Home Depot location. He's so cute. Seriously, such yeah. a burst of energy. Cute little white paws. So come on down, guys. And Dale, thank you so much for sharing that story. I wish we could talk to a customer. We were actually going to have one, um, the lady that actually showed us the story. She was going to show up, but I don't, she didn't make it. So if you're out there, thank you so much for sending this our way. Such an amazing story. Um, Guys, Lori, Jordan, how awesome, right? I know. So cute. Yeah, I know. And they sent emails out, so yeah. they were, you know, the whole entire community out there yes. was uh, looking for Thomas, but we were glad he is back safe. Yes, and you got to fill your pockets if you go visit Thomas <laughs> because right. he likes the treats. All right, That's thanks, right. Ash.